So here we are, well let's see, about 25 minutes and maybe four miles farther east than my last video from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, you, you know guys, uh, if, if anybody has any question left in their uh, brains about this mythical, hilarious uh, fossil fuel, what do they call it? A, is it a revolution? A revolution? What the, what, the, what the fuck is it? The Green New Deal, the Green Revolution and getting off of fossil fuels. All you have to do apparently 24 hours a day uh, you come to Baton Rouge Louisiana and uh, pull your head out of your fucking clueless moron ass and just look this uh, apparently 24 hours a day it doesn't matter what time of day I'm coming through this fucking shithole uh, of a town. I, I have no idea where these fucking people are coming from, where they're going. Now understand, these cars are not going to New Orleans. I am on I-12. So there's already this much traffic going uh, that last piece of I-10. This uh, is the traffic that's not going to New Orleans. Uh, it, it, it makes no difference which route you take. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands of gas-sucking cars coming through fucking Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, where the fuck uh, do, do these clueless fucking morons come from? Uh, it just goes on and on. I'm going 18 miles an hour now. You know, they have this uh, hilarious 60 mile an hour uh, speed limit posted. I've never gone 60 fucking miles an hour down this piece of road my entire fucking life. I see we're, so we're crossing Highway 61. We are revisiting Highway 61. Uh, God said to Abraham, kill me a son. God said, Abe said, man, you must be putting me on. Yep. Highway 61. Uh, the road to hell, although I-12 is the road to hell. All right, we're picking up steam. Get past the uh, the fossil fuel delivery truck here. Uh, Jesus. There you go. Keep bringing those fossil fuels. I have put uh, I have put 36 gallons of fossil fuels into my gas sucking truck today. So chalk me up for 36 gallons, which has gotten me uh, roughly from San Antonio to Baton Rouge. Oh fuck. They're completely fucked. Yeah. No, we're going to. We're just going to switch off the fossil fuels. You know, I'm kind of wondering where or so if every one of these cars was an electric car. Uh, what what what's that going to look like? Like I was. Uh, at some fucking strip mall in Austin uh, a couple of days ago and I noticed the 
electric car charging station uh, out in the parking lot. You know, so like a like a gas station. Uh, you know, you come in, you uh, pull your gas sucking car up to the pump, and you know, in three to five minutes, you're you are finished doing your business. And then you get in your car and drive off in the next car, and the next car, and the next car, and the next car. Well, I had never really seen one of these uh, charging stations. So what it was, there were like 12 electric car chargers, and there were seven cars that were hooked up. Are you following me? You know, getting charged but the driver was nowhere to be seen. So apparently, what they're doing is, uh, so let's say there's 12, essentially, gas pumps, but they're electricity pumps. So the drivers of these cars, it's not like uh, they sit there and attend their vehicle. They, they pull up with their fucking little save the planet electric car, and hook in the charger and then just leave. So what happens when 12 people do that? Uh, imagine if, if every one of these cars uh, and, and you know on one piece of road in one little American city, if every fucking one uh, of these goddamn cars that took three to five minutes to gas up, uh, we're, we're spending, uh, I, I don't know how long, how long do you hook these motherfucking electric cars up for? A fucking hour? What the hell is that gonna look like? Uh, anyway. Electric vehicle revolution, my fucking ass. I'm full of shit. Uh, God. I was, you know, filming that. Where I was at Bucky's, you know, with their 100 gas stations, nearly every one of them full. You know, building the world's biggest Bucky's. They're just breaking ground on the the, the Bucky's that's already there with 100 gas pumps is not big enough to handle. Uh, all of the millions of uh, fucking gas sucking trucks. So they're building a bigger Bucky's. The world's biggest Bucky's, I guess, is going to have 200 gas pumps. We'll see if the world's biggest Bucky's even has a fucking electric car charging station. Oh, Jesus. Are we finally through? The Baton Rouge Gauntlet. All right. I'm on the road again. Probably getting into Hotlanta, GA, about 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. We'll see if we make it or not. Oh my gosh. 